Let's look at how to make a banner for our Schoology course. This is another way to put a visual that makes the Schoology course more appealing for our younger learners. So what I did was I actually went to Alice Keeler. I just did a search because I knew she had one that had been used before uh, in Google Classroom and I thought well I'm just going to take that template and use it in Schoology because it's perfect. So what I did was I just clicked on this link and when you do that it makes a copy or it forces you to make a copy and this is kind of what it looked like except it was blue. I then just changed the background color, I added text and I added my Bitmoji to make it more appealing. Then once I had created my banner, I clicked on file and I went to download and I downloaded it as a JPEG. After I downloaded it, I then went to my practice course. So the trick is you have to actually kind of make a fake page to get it in there. So what I did was I went and I added a page. I'm not even going to keep the page. I just need it long enough to upload my image that I just downloaded. So I'm not even going to put a title here. So I'm going to click inside here and I'm going to go over to insert content and I'm going to go to media, image media, and I'm going to go find that banner that I just downloaded. And there it is. And so it adds it in here and all I'm going to do is highlight it and copy the image or I can just copy it. So I'm going to copy it, copy the image, and now I'm just going to cancel this out because I didn't need the page. I just needed to get the image in there. Now I'm going to go to updates and I'm going to click inside here and I'm just going to paste that image in there. It's that easy. Now I want to go ahead and put those little buttons that I had made in a previous video. So I'm going to get to the end here. I can see my cursor blinking. I'm going to get to that next line there. And I'm going to go back to that document where I have those buttons. And I'm going to right click and I'm going to copy my buttons. And I'm going to go back to my practice course and I'm going to paste those in. So now they're inside there as well. So now I'm ready to just make this as an announcement so it stays at the top of my Schoology course. So I'm going to click on post. So there we can kind of see it, but I'm going to go click on materials. And there you see my banner at the top. Now I didn't put a lot of time and effort into this one, so I'm going to show you one that I made for something else. I think it's right here. So here uh, you see my buttons that are links and this is one, now I'm not going to even take credit for this because I didn't make it. I actually got this if you have not uh, joined. There is a group on Facebook called Bitmoji, Cra Bitmoji Craze for Educators or Teachers. One of those, I can't remember which. But people share these over and over and over and um, I believe her name is something Roberts. Um, anyway, she uh, gave me, gave the template out. She had created this and all I did was add my own Bitmoji. So it was that easy, but I inserted it the same way that I did this one. I downloaded it as an image and then I came in and updated it. Uh, added it to the updates. So look how visually appealing this is for our young learners. We also added our buttons that are up here at the top so that they can easily get to Seesaw or Lexia or whatever resource it, that we are. I probably would also make another button here and put my Zoom link in that I would be using. Uh, you can put this, the link in and you don't have to change it out. You can use that same link uh, every day. Um, and anyway, it's just an easy way for the kids to have that access. And then they just scroll, oops, let's go to materials. They just scroll in their materials to get to their folders. You can also link your folders to these buttons as well if you don't want them scrolling down. 
uh, that's just as easy as well. All right, and that's how you make and put a cute banner in for your Schoology announcement.